Hi. Welcome to this introduction to CGS 1309, Computer and Information Technology Concepts. My name is Michael Waits, and I'll be your instructor for this course. So this video is a way for me to introduce the course to you and talk a little bit about some concepts and some thoughts that you need to have about this course. We're gonna cover a little bit of the syllabus, the bigger points, I would say, but I would recommend that you also read the syllabus because we're not gonna cover every aspect of the syllabus. As you start your journey, for many people in this course, you're, you're new to your college journey. So I'd like to give you a piece of advice when it comes to your college journey. And it's just that, it's your journey. As an instructor, I have many students and I do my best to uh, keep track of all that the students are doing. But if you start to struggle, you'll be the first person to know that you're struggling. So be an advocate for yourself and make sure you reach out to me or whatever instructor of whatever course you may be struggling in and know that you are in control of your college journey. And reaching out to us allows us to help you. There are plenty of other resources uh, and make sure you check your syllabus out for that because there's a plenty, um, a, a huge set of resources listed in the syllabus as well. So with that, let's go ahead and jump into the syllabus and talk it through a little bit. Give me a second as I go ahead and share that screen. All right. So here is the syllabus for the course. My name is Michael Waits. I've already said that. This is my information including my phone number, which I will tell you, it's a phone number that I really don't have access to. So if you call it, you're going to get my voicemail. It's going to take whatever voicemail you leave and send me an email, and then I'm going to respond to you via email. So with that being said, the best course to get a hold of me to talk to me is via email. You can either use your SBC email and my SBC email, or you can use the email system that's right here inside of my courses up here under this icon. This is my instructor webpage. Feel free to take a look at it. And if you have any questions, make sure you shoot me a message. My Dean is Dr. John Duff. This is his phone number and his email. And then my academic chair, Don Ellis. She's located in the Clearwater campus, her phone number and her email. I will encourage all students, if you are struggling with something, if you're having a problem with even me, if something's not clicking, do me a favor and, and shoot me an email first. Oftentimes, we can usually work through things and, and get things resolved. Oftentimes it's just a misunderstanding and uh, I can tend to get things resolved very quickly. If you still feel like you're just not getting uh, what you need, please feel free to reach out to Dawn. Again, she is my academic chair. And uh, if she can't seem to resolve the issue, then by all means, please reach out to Dr. John Duff. One of the first things to talk about that's, as you can see, pretty bolded red here uh, in the syllabus is that during this course, I do not accept late work. Please understand, I do not accept late work. To be frank with you, it's not fair to all the students that worked really hard, put in the extra effort and dealt with whatever's going on in their life and made sure to spend the right time to get their work in on time. So make sure you take time, make sure you put some time aside, make sure you put yourself as important and make sure you carve out the time needed for this course. Now, of course, sometimes emergencies happen. SBC has an approved list of emergencies that when documented, you can send to me and it, it in that case, absolutely, I can work with you and we can get you uh, access to late work 
and get it turned in. This course does have a textbook, and more importantly, it has an access code that must be purchased. This access code will give you um, a license to use the additional uh, provider uh, of the education. We have a, 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 an extended portion of this course that you will use, and that is how you get to it through that access code. As we talked about, there is definitely learner support. Make sure those are uh, things that you need to look into, that all the information is here, and make sure that you do that. We run this course from October 11th through December 10th. Your work will be completed before December 10th. And that's because I require to get grades turned in pretty quickly. So I make sure that we finish up uh, and don't have like a short week instead. Um, so we finish up uh, the weekend uh, of the uh, ending week. So that way, um, again, you, you don't have to worry about the last week being like this crammed course and, and all that good stuff. And I have plenty of time to really grade your papers and make sure that everything's turned in correctly. One of the biggest things that come up throughout a course is the attendance. Now, listen, you're in college. So for the most part, we don't really take attendance. We expect that you wanna be in college and that you're going to do the things you need to do to be in college. Now, with that said, SPC does have essentially three rules for attendance. Week one, week two, and then the 60% mark. For first two weeks, I'm going to take attendance by looking at the work you are doing. And essentially, if you're doing about 70% of your work or more, you're going to be marked as being here for the week. If you miss both weeks, you will be withdrawn from the course. At about the 60% mark, and it's usually a little sooner than that because we're expected to have the attendance in at the 60% mark, I'm going to once again go look at your work. And essentially, I'm going to determine, are you actively participating? Are you doing the work? Are you, um, you know, understanding the materials, making decent grades, so forth and so on. And if for some reason you're just not participating on a regular basis, then you will be marked as not participating at the 60% mark. And that often does withdraw you from the class. So please make sure that you are participating. Make sure you communicate with me if you're concerned about that 60% uh, participation grade. Assignments. Now, you're going to find in this course that there are assignments with that third party um, augmentation of the course. So there are plenty of links that you're going to click and they're going to take you out to another uh, website and it's uh, a bunch of materials. It's well done. It, it provides a lot of information um, and there are reading materials, flashcards. There are practice tests. There's uh, uh, just a, a bunch of stuff for you to do in that um, product. Some of the, the items are graded and will end up in your grade book back here in my courses. There are also some assignments that are in my courses as well. So make sure that you are looking at the, um, the full list of assignments there is a sheet, uh, an assignment due sheet um, at the, uh, I believe it's, let's see here, it is uh, right here, schedule of assignments. If you click that, you will see that you will have access to this assignment sheet. It is a Word document that you can download. And of course, you know, documents sometimes here in my courses takes a little bit of time to load. I'll give it a moment just to finish loading. There you go. As you can see, like I said, each week there are a number of assignments. Make sure you, I would even uh, download and print this and maybe uh, take it somewhere that's in, that's in your view on a regular basis just to remind you of your coursework. 
back to the syllabus. There are student expectations as well as there are uh, instructor expectations. So please make sure to um, read those and understand them. We don't really um, utilize Turnitin for this particular class. If for some reason we decide to, this would be the information you need to know in regards to Turnitin. And then this course does have some uh, technology requirements. Make sure that you read these and understand them. Once you have completed all of uh, reading your syllabus, start by going to the begin here section. You're gonna see once again, the syllabus in the assignment schedule right there at the beginning. You're gonna see some tips on how to be successful in this course. More importantly, there is a course syllabus quiz that you need to take. And then finally, you want to get started in MindTap. MindTap is that third party augmentation of the course that I've been talking about. And this will help you understand how to register and log in. And this will allow you to open MindTap. Now, I have heard from plenty of students that to be successful with MindTap, you do need to click the links here in my courses to get to the content. And you'll see as you go, and let's click into module one, right away, there are these external learning tools. Module one, digital device reading. As you click into this, MindTap should then start to load for you. Now my MindTap looks a little bit different as an instructor. Please uh, ignore that, but here is, um, as you saw, I clicked that link and it took me right to that piece. And here's the reading for module one. So with that being said, you're gonna find, and we'll go back to module one real quick, like I said, there are plenty of items that are in that uh, mind tap tool. And then there are a couple things that um, we have here right in the my courses as well as you can see that this module has a Dropbox activity. And it also has a discussion. So I wanted to be the first one to say, welcome to the course. I hope that this course gives you some great insight into what it is to be in IT. As a professional who also works in the IT field, um, I've been working in the IT field for quite some time, well over um, 25 years, something like that. I'm now a manager over a technology team um, and my, my day job. By the way, SPC really likes to hire uh, professors that are in the technology field that are teaching uh, the things that they actually do as a career because we have a lot of real world experience. And again, that's why I said, if you have questions or concerns, please shoot me messages. I can answer them all day long. I have a lot of real world experience and working currently in the field. So with that, I wanna say again, welcome, good luck. And if you have anything, please shoot me a message. I hope to talk to you all soon. Thank you.